in our previous lesson we have learned how to convert numeric data type to string we have converted our integer my int to string and then we have output that on the window well in this tutorial we are going to learn how to convert string to numeric data types this is a little different than what it was of integer to string so let's take a look i am into practices chapter 4 conversion project and these are the line of codes from our previous project so i have just commented out now we have one string my string and that is equal to the text box input dot text that means whatever we type into this input box will be assigned to my string so now let's go ahead and convert that into an integer and display on our output text box for that we are going to call our output subroutine by passing my string let's start this and let's type abc click run and this is work fine so now let's go ahead and convert this string into an integer to do that we will call the integer class here it is integer then we are going to use the parse method of this class for that we just type dot and visual studio will suggest parse to us this is how we can call a method of a class so here parse is the method of integer class and then pass the string which is my string in this case this means it will take this my string and parse an integer value from that string let's run so if we type 1 2 3 click run and it does the thing pretty much easily but what happens if we type something non numeric to it let's say i'll type abc and click on run this will give me an error it says the format exception this means that visual basic cannot interpret what it is that we have typed means it cannot parse an integer out of our given string click on continue so this is a problem if you pass something that cannot be converted into an integer it will throw an error so how do you know whether the given string can be converted or not well we have a trick for that and that is called is numeric is numeric is a generic method that we can use just type is numeric and as the parameter it takes the string or object here we are passing my string so is numeric is the method we are calling and passing my string that means whatever we type into that input box so let's run it so i will type abc and click on run and it says false that means we cannot convert this thing this string to any numeric data type because it is not numeric this way we will be able to identify whether a string can be converted or not if i type 1 and click on run it will say true 
because one can be converted to a numeric data type. Let's say 1000. Click on run and it says true. But as soon as I add something that cannot be converted into numeric data type, it will return false. So this way, using the is numeric method, we will be able to know that we can convert the string into a numeric data type or not. For a repetition, let's go ahead and convert this my string into a double. So the same way we will call the double class as we have called the integer class. So double dot parse that means we are using the parse method of this double class and we will pass my string to this method. We click on start. Let's say 111 and run and this parse 111 out of it pretty easily. So this way you will be able to get the input from the user and convert it. Now for a little excitement let's go ahead and multiply this by 2. So in this way whatever we type into that input box the output result will be twice. So let's say I'm typing 500 click on run and it will print 1000 because I am multiplying that with 2. So now you know how you can convert strings into numeric data types.